Hello there fellows, and welcome to another Tiger Tutorial with Tigers RC. This time we'll be making an automatic item collector that is extremely resource light and lag light. There are many designs that use an entire sheet of hoppers or a sheet of rails with a hopper minecart on each and every single line of them. This design doesn't use that many hopper minecarts. It only uses four of them total, and three of them are never going to be moving at all. Making this design one of the most resource light and lag light that you will find. So what this design does is that whenever an item falls onto the floor, wherever you've got your tracks laid out, this can be however large you want it to be, if ever an item falls on there, like these, they get picked up by this hopper minecart and then put into these chests down here at a rather quick rate because there are three hopper minecarts right underneath here. As soon as this one comes by, you can see all the items get drained out incredibly quickly so that the, this hopper minecart is empty no matter what, even if it was completely full, as soon as it gets out of the system. So it comes around for another pass, and then all the items get drained out again. It continues doing this for all the time that your farm is running, and so yeah. To build this farm, you'll need a few things. First things first, you're going to have to figure out where your farm is going to be. Typically this would be used for, say, a guardian farm or a witch farm, something like that. And you want to go to the corner of the place where your um, collection area is going to be. So right in, say, this corner, the collection area would be the area that is inside of the rectangle where that's one of the corners. You can make this rectangle however big in that direction and that direction that you like. It really doesn't matter just as long as you build the farm in one of the corners. Once you have the placement for it established, you can go ahead and get some of the resources. You'll need a few blocks of any type I'm using a few different types to symbolize different things. You'll need some rails and powered rails, something to power those rails, and four hopper minecarts minimum. You can go as high as seven hopper minecarts, but I don't think you'll actually need that much. Also, you'll need some hoppers, at minimum six or seven hoppers. Um, they'll go into your storage system. Some chests and or trap chests, just to store all the items. A water bucket, three trap doors, a sign, and that's it. Alrighty, the first thing you're gonna do is make your actual area that the hopper minecart is gonna run around. This will be the same size as the entire area that you want to be able to pick items off of. So you'll make it however big you want, something like this would work, and fill it entirely up with rails. In the corner that you've chosen for your design, make sure that the wall of your collection area is right above this corner, and that there are rails going directly into that corner. Also make sure that there are blocks next to those rails and directly across from it so that when your minecart falls off of there, it won't go flying. Now that you have your rails in place, come to this corner and put three blocks right there and one on the end like this. Then come down from that one, come one over, two over, and then up two. From here, you can go directly into your collection system. Make sure that there are three powered rails right here, and this one can be a turned rail or go wherever you like. So from here, 
to there can be any rail configuration that you like as long as it covers the entire area that you want items to be collected from. Now that you've got that in place, you can come to this side, place three trapdoors right there, and then hoppers underneath all those. Go ahead and feed these into your storage system. I'll be using chests and trap chests like this, and then hooking it up to your item storage system like this. You can, of course, feed these all into one hopper chain if you prefer, just make sure that one hopper can handle it. Then, once you have this, you're going to put some temporary blocks coming out like this, and then rails going in like that. Go ahead and power those rails, and put one hopper minecart on each. They should go fairly quickly right into place. You can go ahead and destroy all this stuff and cover those hopper minecarts back up. And this is the basis of the design. Now, you, now that you have that in place, you can take a sign, put it there, and grab some water and put it there. Because minecarts in 1.8 get moved by water, this design can work like that. Now that you have that in place, go ahead and power all of your rails so that the hopper minecart that is running along the tracks never slows down. And then you can go ahead and grab it and put it on there. That's all you need to do. The farm is now active and it will collect all of the items that are on this area and put them into your storage system. If you would like, you can place as many as five hopper minecarts onto this system. I wouldn't recommend five because this is going to happen. They're going to get caught right there and it does make it rather laggy, but it will work with five as you can see there. Thank you fellows so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and found it useful. I know that I'm definitely going to be using this design for a witch farm that I have planned in my LP. But you guys go ahead and post in the comments what you're going to use this design for. Thank you once again for watching, and until next time fellows, so long!